So the topic for today, how can you create more balance in your life? Now, if you look at the scenery behind me, you'll notice that it's significantly different from some other videos you've seen from me. And the reason is the other videos you've seen I've recorded in my office in Palm Beach. And today I'm in my, my second home out in Vail, Colorado. And the beauty of these two places for me is the balance that they bring into my life. You see, in, in, in Palm Beach, I have the sun and the beach, and those are both wonderful things. And in Colorado, it's the mountains, it's the snow, and it's that river that you hear in the background. So these two things together create a wonderful, wonderful balance for me. Now, I found in my life that when very often things get out of balance, I used to be a runner, and I noticed when I would run more than 25 or 30 miles a week, my knees would start to hurt. I would get shin splints. And I quickly realized that that was my body's way of telling me that there was a lack of balance. I also noticed people with excessive diets. You know, they're trying to cut their, their caloric intake by, by 50 or 60 percent, or they're cutting out carbs completely in their diet. And I noticed those people a year or two later, and, and somehow they never seem to be successful at keeping that weight off. But yet I look at other people who do things in moderation, where they'll be smarter about the food choices they make, or they'll, they'll make subtle changes in their diet. Maybe they'll cut out a lot of sugar, they'll stop eating late at night, but those people tend to be much more successful in keeping the weight off because I think they found that balance that they need in life. And so I would tell you that you know, too much of anything in most cases is just not good. There's a balance that we're trying to strike in our lives. So if you find a situation where you're being excessive, let's say you're having 20 drinks a week, 30 drinks a week, I mean cocktails, versus having four or five. You know, clearly when you're getting up to 20 or 30 a week, that's a, lot, that's a big number. Right? And chances are things are probably out of balance. Again, too much alcohol, not so good. Moderate amounts of alcohol have been found to have some very positive effects for health. So again, finding that balance that works for you. And another example we'll look at is just work. You know, if you're working 80, 100 hours a week, it's very, very difficult to find time to balance work and home. And by home, I mean the family. And so one of the things we need to do that's critically important, it's something that we talked about before, and that is how can you create those habits? The habits that will make you successful, that'll get you to where you want to go. Because if you can develop the habits, it becomes easier for you to do week in and week out. So in the case of work, if you're working a lot, schedule some time specifically for the family and use that time and give them their full attention. Okay, so you're not thinking about work, thinking about other things. You're focused on what it is you have to do. Even if it's not as much time as you'd like it to be, the fact that you can get that balance and spend some quality time is very, very positive for you and for your family. So the bottom line, identify that imbalance that exists in your life, create habits to correct that habit, to put it back in balance, and execute consistently on exactly what we've just talked about.